But just what he said, Ashley, he said, let down your nets for a draw, not for another disappointment, not for another letdown, not for another rejection, not for some more pain, but this time, let it down for a drought. Tell your neighbor, this time, it's going to work. This time, it's going to turn out right. This time, you're going to have prosperity. This time, he's going to heal it completely. This time, he's going to wipe away your tears. This time, this time, won't be like the last time. This time, won't be like the other time. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch your name and say, this time. Rock him and say, this time. This time, it's going to work out for me. This time, it's going to do like it's supposed to do. This time, my house going to be full. This time, when I relaunch, it's going to be a prosperous time. This time, they're coming in like floodgates. Tell somebody, this time, it's going to work in my favor. Simon, Simon said, Master, I hear you. I heard you. Let down my net. I heard you. But, Brother Master, maybe you didn't know that me and my boys, we've been toiling all night long, and we ain't caught nothing. It's a dry season. Ain't nothing working for us. Ain't no fish in this part of the water. But God told him, let down your net. He said it ain't been working. But I like it next word. Nevertheless. Look at him, I said, nevertheless. Nevertheless, you know something is getting ready to happen when you come to the place of nevertheless. In other words, ain't nothing happening. But God, if you say do it, I ain't got nothing to lose because ain't nothing happening anyway. So I let my faith just follow your word. And I say, nevertheless, y'all ain't saying nothing. Don't you hear Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane praying till sweat drops like blood trying to get Mr. God to let this cut pass from him. And after the third time, he realized that the best plan is God's plan. And he told Mr. God, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. I hear Simon on this side of the boat say, nevertheless, not my will, but at your command, I'll drop this net. Look at your neighbor and say at God's command, drop your net. I got to close, but the results of obedience is kingdom results. I come to tell you, he'll give you more than you ever dreamed. Not only will he heal your body, but he'll heal your finances. He'll heal your family. He'll heal your broken heart. He'll heal broken relationships. He'll fix up a messed up church. He'll fix up a messed up mind. I got the clothes, but I'm so glad that Peter, that Simon dropped his net. Just like God told him to drop it. And the Bible says that he caught so many fish that they couldn't bring them all in. Just what he did. He got to the helm of the ship and called for some help. All of y'all that have a need, all of y'all that's been out here on Lake Gennesaret trying to get the same thing that you heard God say, I got more 
than I can handle. I got more than I ever dreamed of. Come quickly. Tap your neighbor and say, come quickly. What are you trying to say? You've been struggling? Stay in the struggle. You've been having a hard time? Stay in the hard time. You've been trying to borrow from Paul to St. Peter. Stay right there. You've been struggling, trying to find a larger facility. Don't quit the assignment, but stay right there. Call when God bless you. When God bless you, when your ship come in, you'll have enough to help somebody else. You'll have a facility to rent to somebody else. You'll have more. I wish I had some people who've been waiting on more, been praying for more, that need more. God say this time, when I bless you, I'll give you more than you need. You'll have enough to help somebody else, and it won't take away from you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Every time I help somebody, it takes away from me. Every time I go to somebody, somebody rescue, it takes away from this house. But the day is coming. I said the day is coming where God's going to bless me. Where I can sow. I can give. I can help. And it don't take away from my house. Throw your head back and say, my day is coming. I got to close. I got to close. Here's my last nugget. And I'm getting out of here. I like what he did. He said, Simon, get back out there. Drop down your nets. A few years ago, I went on a fishing trip with Apostle Norbert Simmons and Walter Barber. We went all the way to New Orleans just to catch a red snapper. Lord have mercy when the professional fisherman took us out on the boat. He said, drop your net right there. We dropped our net. He wouldn't stay but for a little while. If there were no fish there, he pulled up our net and said, let's go down. There's another lake that runs by this lake. And he took us to another lake. When we didn't catch nothing there, he said, there's a whole lot of lakes. He took us to another lake. But I like the language of our text. Jesus said, Simon, you don't have to change from where you are. You don't have to go nowhere else. You were fishing in Lake Gennesaret. Stay here. Stay here. I know this ain't what some of y'all want to hear today. But God said, stay. Stay. Stay right where you are. Don't jump ship. Don't let nobody trick you out of your church. Don't you let nobody trick you away from your pastor. Don't you let nobody pull you away from Raleigh. Don't you let nobody pull you away from your man of God. Stay. Stay. Your harvest. Look at the text. Your harvest is right where you are. Right where you are. Say yeah. Yeah. I I'm through preaching. I'm through preaching. But tell your neighbor, stay right where you are. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach. Say, neighbor, I know sometimes you wanna change cities. I know sometimes you wanna back up and go somewhere where there's a greater population. But God said, Stay right where you are. Your lake, Gennesaret, is full of fish that's headed your way. Close, Lord. Help me close. Lord, have mercy. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, 
let me testify and tell you the truth. It's been hard, but I think I'll stay. It's been rough, but I think I'll stay. It had not worked like I thought it would work, but I think I'll stay. We have not reached when we ought to be by now, but I think I'll stay. Don't nothing look like what God showed me, but I think I'll stay. Nobody working, folk not committed, nobody loyal, but Lord, I hear you, and I, I'll stay. Touch your nose, say stay, 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 right where you are. It's hard, lady, but stay there. You get tired of seeing the same scenery, but I promise you, if you just stay there, the scenery will change right where you are. It will grow. It will expand. The promise will come. Fulfillment will reach you. You'll get a place in the ministry where you will be satisfied. Satisfied. I'm trying to quit, but I hear God saying, I am the God who will satisfy your belly. I am the God who produce kingdom results. You just can't wash your neck. I got to close, but tell your neighbor, don't wash your neck. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. I'm through preaching. Just feel like preaching. I said I'm through preaching, but I feel like preaching. Tell your neighbor, this time, I'm holding on. This time, I won't let go. This time, I made up my mind. I will hang in here. I will not let go. I will press my way forward. I shall, 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 shall. How long? Help me get out of here now, son. How long should I hang in here? How long should I pray this prayer? How long should I work in a dry place? How long do I stay faithful in a place of struggle? Stay there until it gets better. Lord, have mercy. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, that's the signal there. When you hear the word better, it means they're getting ready to get out of here for real. Say neighbor, I'm gonna stay right here until my church gets better. I'm gonna stay right here until I see my pastor go to higher heights and deeper depths. I'm gonna stay right here until my church change my community. I'm going to stay right here until I see in the natural what God showed me in the spiritual. I'm going to stay right here until it gets better. Rock your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's going to get better. It's got to get better. Pray until it gets better. Pass until it gets better. Labor until it gets better. Better is promised to you, Brenda. Better is headed your way, Pamela. Better is looking for you, Mark. Better is chasing you, Melvin. It's coming after you, brother. Better is on the way to William's house. Lift your hand and shout, better. Point to yourself and say, better is coming to where I am. Better, better, shout better, better, better. Just three people say, don't wash your neck. I dare you get out of your seat. Go grab.